Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another session of Breaking Down Our Constitution. And we're going to go and look at Genesis 127, where he say that God made and created man in his own image. And in his image, he created man. Now think about that. We are made in his image, in his likeness. That means we are made to look like his character. We are made to have the same characteristics as God. We are made to have the same power and authority and dominion as God. We are made to be able to dominate like God. So I say that scripture because I want us to start to realize that we have domination over certain things in our life that, sh that, that you're letting destroy you at this moment. We need to get to a point where we're not worrying about if something is a sin or not. We're supposed to be at a point where you have to look at this and say, I am a king and fornication is unworthy of me. I am a king. Adultery is unworthy of me. I am a king. Murder is unworthy of me. I am a king. Homosexuality is unworthy of me. I am a king. Lying is unworthy of me. I am a king. Stealing is unworthy of me. We don't we don't do that in here. Is it is that is that worthy for me to do? It ain't worrying about is it a sin or not. I need to is it a sin? Should I do this or are you a king? Is is fornication worthy of you? That's that's below you. That's below God. So if it's below God, it's below you. If it's below your king, it's below you. So we have to have that mindset that God gave us the authority to, to trample over scorpions, to trample over snakes, to trample over foolishness, to trample over temptation, to trample over our flesh. And the way to trample over with ease or the way to trample it over, trample over it with with such authority is to realize who you are. Put it this way. I was listening to Miles, right? My, Dr. Miles Monroe. He said, if you see pigs in the barn and they digging through all the stuff that they go through and mud and eating the stuff and they running through it and then you go in there and start to roll in it with them and play in it with them and eat the stuff, what would you think about yourself? What would others think of you if you was if they was to see you in that with the pigs eating with the pigs walking around in it with, with it all on your face and body you will feel disgusted of yourself that's unworthy of you you will look at this and say they will look at you and say what is you doing this is not what you do this is this is not how you live get out of that that's unworthy of you that is what sin is you are made in his image and his likeness you are, it is unworthy for you, for that to even be a part of you. For me to, adultery is not, it's, it's, it's below me. I, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Fornication, we don't do that here. This is, this is the country of God. In this country, we don't do these things. We, we obey our laws in our country. And, and lying and stealing and, and murder, we don't. We don't do that here. I'm above that. I'm a king. Do you see the crown I got on? Why would I subdue to something as temptation, something as fornication, something as homosexuality, something as lying and stealing and covetousness and idolatry? Why would I even stoop to that level of life? And we have to have that mindset that we don't, just like you as a citizen of the United States, you going out and murdering someone is, is beneath you. you. That's unworthy of you. You ain't about to, to go risk your family, your, your wife or husband and children to go kill somebody. Now you in prison for the rest of your life. That's unworthy of you. You as a citizen of the United States, you was not about to go beat up an old woman and take her purse and grab her cane and throw it in the street and laugh and run. That is unworthy of a citizen of the United States. You wouldn't do that. That's not a part of your character. So that's the same thing with the other stuff. Sin, fornication, adultery, lying, stealing, idolatry, covetousness, all these other sins. 
put uh, idols, all that, all that, that is, that is, that is below me. I don't have to worry about what sin I have to do. I know what's worthy and what's unworthy. All I do is follow the spirit. Now, if it's the flesh, most likely the flesh going to do all the unworthy stuff. So don't even, that's unworthy. The flesh is unworthy in me. So I, I, I keep my crown on to look at the Holy Spirit. And that's the mindset we have to keep. So now that you live in the country of God, so when he says seek his kingdom, kingdom means a government, a, a territory, country uh, 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 that's ran by a king and ordered, that's, that's established by a government. So that means when you say you are in the kingdom of God, you're telling yourself that you are in a country that is ruled in, by a king, governed government by a king. So that means just like every government that you belong to, if it's United States, if it's New Mexico, if it's China, if it's Russia, if it's if it's anything, there's a government that established that and there's rules to, to be in place by. But you as a citizen of that country, you're not waking up every morning trying to not murder someone unless something's wrong with you. You just wake up and be the citizen that you are because you are worthy to be the citizen. That's why you have the privileges. That's why you have the benefits. That's why you're able to do the things you do because you stay in right standing with your country that you live in. Same with the kingdom of God. We don't have to wake up worrying about, Am I, is that a sin? Should I not sin? Should I not do this? Is this, temp is this, all oh, this is sinful? Should I, man, I wake up as a citizen of my king and I live how I'm supposed to live. And when I see something that's unworthy, I know by the spirit that that is unworthy of me to do. That is not, so when something try to come, that temptation come, that is unworthy for a king to even to partake in. So when we get that mindset, the, the 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 better we will be, the better we will start to actually follow the spirit. When you look towards to the spirit, you ain't worrying about your flesh really no more. You focusing on what the king tell you to do. And because now the king has placed that crown on you, that is unworthy for me. That's not even in my lane anymore. And because I have that mindset, we are able to rule and reign and have dominion like the kings and queens that we're supposed to be. We're able to do and establish what the king wanted us to establish since day one, his dominance, his dominance from heaven on earth through his children, through mankind. And if we're able to do that, that's the original plan. Genesis 1 26, the original plan. Men have dominion over the fish, the birds, the, everything creeping on the earth, all the earth itself. But we turned around and started dom dom dominating each other. He mentioned everything to dominate but each other. And now we dominate each other and dominate nothing else. No, it's time to get back your dominance. Reward. Ward means that your 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 assignment is in certain territories, an area, a specific spot. Like when you go to a prison, you got a warden who is authority over that territory. You go to certain hospitals, they got children's ward. It's a certain position that ran by uh, someone who's warding that place with authority in that territory. God is coming to reward you back to authority. In the air on the earth, everything that we were supposed to have dominion over, every every cell in our body, every everything of the earth, we lost that dominion, we lost that power. But through Christ, in Him coming, dying for us, coming back, and raising up on the third day with the keys to the kingdom of God and handing it to us and said, All the power I got, I now give it to you. He has rewarded us back to dominion back to authority. He has renewed our mind, a mind that we once had. Re means to go back. Now we receive the Holy Spirit. Seeve means to have. Receive means to have again. So look at all these re's. Re's mean I'm giving you something that you once had, but you lost because of Adam, but now you got back because of Christ. So yeah, he's rewarding us, giving us back that authority over the territory. So now we can rule and reign and look like our king at all times. So yeah, I wanted to tell y'all that um, we are made in the image of our king. Uh, we are the children of our king. Jesus Christ is our brother. And we are made to look just like him, not, not pieces of him, not somewhat like him. 
it says in the word, put on the mind of Christ. He said, be just like Christ, not a little like Christ. So when you got people in your, in your, your friends that say, and your little group that say, oh, oh, Jesus did that. I ain't Jesus. No, you supposed to be just like Jesus. You, when God look at you, he supposed to be like, which one is which? Because you looking like Jesus. We have the, we have the ability to do so. But if you don't believe it, you won't receive it. But if you believe it, oh, Lord, thank you. You shall receive it. He just told me the Holy Spirit just gave me that whole revelation just from that because I was I was praying on that scripture. But if you believe it, you shall receive it. Receive mean to have. Receive mean to have again. So I love y'all. And as always, let's get it.